Sarah, I am expecting to see some pages by the end of the week. Do you hear me? Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I am just working here. Are you fake typing? <laughs> no. Shall we discuss your deadline? No, anything but that. God, I wish I could return that stupid advance. It's not stupid, it's amazing. Especially considering the fact that nobody reads anymore! This is, you know, uh, my writing and, and directing debut. Uh, it's called The Right One. It's, it's a romantic comedy. Um, and the one thing I really wanted to make sure that I had in this film is I really wanted to be really organically diverse um, and without calling attention to the diversity. Uh, so if you watch the film, which is out now on uh, digital on demand, and it's also in theaters uh, across the country, everybody from top to bottom, even the extras in this film um, are very organically diverse. Uh, so, you know, I really wanted to have this film reflect uh, the world as we uh, as we live in it, the world that I live in, um, that is that is full of diversity. So, that was something that I really really wanted to pay attention to on this uh, on this movie. What's this guy's name anyway? You know what? I don't know. I brought you here for a reason. I got a feeling about you. You're mistaking crazy for interesting. You're a complete original. Uh, and so we got a lot of really great, um, unexpected uh, kind of funny moments and poignant moments in the movie because I allowed the actors uh, to really kind of cut loose on this film. The guy there that plays the boss is David Koechner, who's like a legend in the comedy business. I wrote that yeah. role specifically for him. Um, and Nick is terrific in this film. He, he had to adopt like eight different personas in the film. Who's that? He is the company's top sales performer for three straight years. That. You can tell that he's breaking about eight different dress code policies. The dance sequence that you see here um, that we just saw was really challenging because we had to shoot that all in one night because when you're doing an indie film, you're really only, you know, got 23 days to shoot. We shot this whole film practical, which meant we didn't build any sets. We shot, you know, live on location everywhere. So this is a real art gallery in Vancouver that we were able to, to get. And this artist that's, that's featured in this gallery, this is actually the artist's work. Uh, but when you get to this part of the scene, I'm sorry, when you get over here, all of the work in this part of the gallery was done by our production team. So we filled up an, uh, th this big room with kind of fake art done by our production designers. It really kind of, again, what that is, uh, is a commentary on which kind of works thematically with this film is, you know, Nick's character, um, Godfrey, is a guy who's kind of like a con artist in a lot of ways. He's, he's putting on these masks. Uh, in this scene, when he's talking about art, he's really talking about gibberish, um, which, you know, I feel a lot of, you know, contemporary, post-contemporary art is a scam. And so, you know, I like that he was able to scam people by talking about art and speaking complete gibberish, which is, I wrote it as gibberish, um, and that people were falling for it, that people were thinking he was this brilliant, insightful intellectual. Um, and that really works with him because he's constantly putting on a mask and scamming people throughout the movie in these different personas. Actually, even met the guy? I need to know who I'm with. I'm so confused. Like, who have I been hanging out with this whole time? I'm ready to live. I'm ready to love. I was kind of in a funk. Couldn't access my creativity. It's our time to live our life. And then I met you, and that all went away. Another thing that was really interesting about this film is I really wanted to have a very, uh, pleasant color palette to this. So the production design in the film is very, uh, we're being very careful with it in terms of, I really wanted kind of like a nice pastel feel to the, the film because I wanted the film to be really watchable. Mm -hmm. So in every scene in this film, you always have these pops of violets, lavenders, greens, yellows, purples. It's the type of film that I've designed so that you can watch the movie over and over again, even with the sound off. Um, so the influence that I kind of had from here was uh, you know, Nancy Myers, Nora Ephron, if you watch their films, they're always beautiful to look at. They're all, the production design is done, you know, very well. If you reduce the world down, we're all just one big organism. What we do has an effect on others. 
Who are you? You know I am a good friend, and friends tell each other the truth even when it sucks. Yeah, well, this lunch sucks. The, the food is very good, but the this, food is very this good. sucks. <laughs> <laughs>